mrefu ana shukrani kwa askofu wetu na uongozi wa kanisa hili kunisaidia niruhusu tena kusimama mbele zenu siku ya leo kuleta ujumbe wa leo ana ujumbe wa leo nataka tutoe kwa kitabu cha Ephesians chapter 5 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 I'm reading from contemporary bible uh I'm using the contemporary bible in a light shows up everything just as the scriptures say wake up from your sleep and rise from the dead then Christ will shine on you Verse 15. Act like people with good sense. And be a jirani yako good sense. And not like fools. Verse 16. These are evil times. So make every minute count. Verse 17. Don't be stupid. Instead, find out what it, what the Lord wants you to do. Na kwenda kombali hiyo andiko na James. 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 James chapter 3 verse 13. Nasema also from the contemporary bible. Are any of you wise or sensible? Then show it by living right. Tell your name by living right. And by being humble and wise in everything you do. But if your heart is full of bitter jealousy and selfishness, don't brag or lie to cover up the truth. That kind of wisdom does not come from above. It is earthly selfish and comes from the devil himself whenever people are jealous or selfish they cause trouble and do all sorts of cruel things but the wisdom that comes from above leads us to be pure friendly gentle sensible kind helpful giving and sincere When peace make us plant seeds of peace they will harvest justice Bwana Yesu asifiwe Walking as wise Tutembea kama watu walio na hekima Ephesians 5:14 Ni tutaka vizuri kwamba you wake up from your sleep waking up spiritually to wake up to wake up is to be quickened to wake up spiritually is to be quickened up the bible says katika kitabu cha Ephesians 2 kwamba tulikuwa tulikuwa wako kwenye dhambi ilikuwa wako kwenye dhambi ambazo zilitutawala wakati tulikuwa katika mataifa bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe so when the scripture is speaking about waking up ama kuamuka inamaanisha being quickened receiving the life of god and living before God. Kwa hiyo wewe tembea kama mtu ulio na hekima kiroho kama kwanza hauishi kiroho. The Bible says in the book of Romans 8 sema kwamba now there, therefore there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus them who do not walk according to the flesh 
according to the Spirit. So my Romans 8. Verse 8, na sema. Kwamba, wade wali okatika mwili, hawezi mpendeza mungu. Muta sema, Amen. Muta sema, Amen. Kiroho, uwezi kutembea kama mutu wa hekima, kama ujadil na mwili wa. Wewe sahau kutembea kama mutu wa hekima. So, one thing that you will have to work on as a foundation of spiritual wisdom is being quickened. Lazima kwa maisha yako ufanye pidi kutembea katika newness of life that God has given you as a born again Christian. Kuta seme, Amen. Wakatu nilipokea Yesu, mungu nilipokea uhai mpia. Uhai mpia. Wale walio mpokea aliwapa uwezo kufanyika wana wa mungu. Kuta seme, Amen. Na wana wa mungu wako na uhai tafauti na wana wa dunia hii. Wako na uhai tafauti na wana wa shetani. Kwa hii mwaka maweni wana wa mungu, lazima utende kuligana na uzima wa Yesu. Na uzima wa Yesu ni utakatifu. Sanyia jirani wame utakatifu. First Peter 1.16 inasema, be ye holy, for I'm holy. Muta seme, amen. Unajuwaje mutu wa meamuwa kutoko usigizi wa kiroho wakati mutu wa meawake unto holiness. Muta seme, hallelujah. Wakati mutu wa meamuka na sese zake ziva live unto holiness. Muta pige mako meseme, holiness. Muta pige mako meseme, holiness. Awake from the sleep. The wake up call he was a kind in a watch from bar or pen it over. Muta seme, amen. Muta seme, amen. Ro, anapo ita kanisa to awaken, to amoka, ana ita kanisa to atoba. Back to repentance. Muta seme, amen. Kutoka katika mwili, kutendea kuligana na ro. Kutoka kutawaliwa na mwili, kutawaliwa na ro. Kutoka katika kuwa na influence na mwili,
living rights. Living rights is living a life that is pleasing God. Amen. Amen. Sensibility, spiritual sensibility in a answer na tigezo ya living rights. Living a life that is pleasing to God. If the life unayishi kumpendeza manadam, then you are missing the mark. Your life must, must be founded katika kumpendeza aliyeko yeti. Kati kumpendeza aliyeko Hali kumpendeza ambaye utatoa hesabu ya maisha aliyokupa ukiwa chini ya jua. Mtaseme amen. Sarge ndani yako mulize are you living right? Mtaseme amen. Are you living right? <laughs> living right before the Lord. Spiritual sensitivity in a answer na diligence and to living right. Living right. Kuepukana na makosa. Kifanya mathematics. Kuna kitu inaitwa formulas. Ah, na katika formula kuna kitu inaitwa application ya formula. So kufanya mathematics kiandika kwanza formula, mwalimu anakuletea tick. Sasa ile foundation. Kipata formula right na maanisha you can work out the problem na upate the answer right. Maisha ya kiroho inaanza na living right. If you don't get it, by living right, you can't get anything else right. Mutu asema, Amen. Watu ambao wenda nilimani kufunga na kumgoja mungu wapatia vipawa ndo waringie kwenyesha watu kwa nangufu wana kufanga muda mkupi sana wamekupu. Very dangerous kuwanda kuwenda nilimani kufunga 40 days kupata nangufu ya kukasi wengine na kuwa kamungu kadogo kukanyaga wengine chini Unaweza nangana na setana kupatia mungu kama hiyo lakini huwezi ishi Maisha marefu Muta sena ebe Mambo yote ya mungi naanza na living right Striving to be right before the Lord Na living right inaanza kuweza kushida mwili huu Romans 8.8 Jenda in the flesh cannot please God
unasema amen wapendwe ni vizuri kama unataka uishi maisha ambayo ni right before the lord all exercise kujubilia exercise kujikana exercise kujikanisha na kuweza kujikimbia na kiroho kuabudu na kuweza kutii na Mungu mtu apige mbona anasema asante living right before the lord living right before the lord inaanza sana sana mwili huu ndio unakosa na mwili huu ni wewe tu unaofukuma wengi wanadanganyana shetani kwa nini ulifanya hiyo pastor shetani alinemea tu shetani aliniongoza wewe ukishaokoka ni Yesu ndio bwana na shetani ndio bwana kwa nini kwa mdomo wako umejaa shetani wale wako nje wakikosa tunajua baba yao ni nani tunajua baba yao ni nani tunajua baba yao ni nani na wewe uko hapo baba yako ni nani baba yako ni nani kwa hivyo unaposema shetani unadanganya si ndio sasa nimejaenda kumuuliza wewe siku ingine usiseme hivyo the best way ya kuweza kusoma katika kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu ni kuweza kujitrain kuona mistake baada ya Adam kukuta tunda Mungu anatokea na so Adam ya yu eh ni huyu 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 ni huyu huyu ulinipatia hivyo alikuwa kitu kizuri sasa lakini kwa tunda anamkana watu wa kuruka wako hapa leo wewe yeah. walikuja leo watu ambao wanarukanga si ndio ukimuuliza kwa nini familia yako iko hivyo ni huyu mzee ni huyu mzee yeah. if they don't they don't own a benefit Christian responsibility inaanza na owning up sasa jirani yako mwambie own up ambie mwingine own up mambo ni sababu la blame ya msingi tunataka tuache wakati mistake inatokea we own up we correct and move on mtasema hallelujah kama unataka kutembea na Mungu you own up hata mlipambia wewe alivyo amesema baba baba niko hapa niko angeji start niko hapa niko na tunda ange of course na hivyo hivyo ndio nature ya Adam kiliyo ndani yetu wakati tumekosa we never ona tunataka tunanyanyeta shetani na shetani yuko karibu tuache hiyo mchezo wakati umefanya makosa sema bwana nimefanya makosa narudi msalabani bwana natupo bwana na unene And wise 
in everything you do. In everything you do. James and Sema. James 1 5. Anyone who doesn't have wisdom, let him ask from God who gives liberally. You will have a king. Where's the one who is going to sing a king? Are you in a king? Who does say that? Amen. Kwa 
ndugu na watu mtuu na wacha unaenda kwa wale kinapo maana hapana mtasumbua wazazi mimi kwa baba yako hapana mtasumbua mimi ukasema amen ulikuwa mtu waji ulitaka kuolewa ukikuja tafuta chochote ambacho ulikuwa wewe naenda kwa bwana yako na nikusindikisha hata tukule taksi na nikufikisha kwa bwana yako nilikupatia bodi chukua leo huyu ndio kurudishia pige Yesu makofu yote sababu alijivonya mnini kwa sababu alijivonya mnini angekuja kulikanisha mzee baba kunaenda gaje wewe kae na mwambie ni maneno yanaenda gaje akwambie hivi baba let's relax ni maneno hii kwa hiki kitu ni sio rahisi lakini unajaribu sana mtoto wangu kuna avoid hii na hii na hii mtoto wangu ndio kwa sababu unasema hekima unasema hekima unasema hekima lazima watoto wa Mungu we desire to walk as wise people in this evil generation unasema amen unasema amen maandiko yanasema wale ambao ni waovu they are wise in their generation watu wa dunia hii ni wekima katika vizazi vyao wana tu watu tu oh according to the wisdom of this world waweze kufanikiwa lakini watu wa Mungu wamekaa tu kama tumbi tumbi umekaa tu ni ulio jela kumetaka mtu kituli wakristo bwana wao ni kwamba in boya wakati tayari accident chapa nika anapo kwa driving school haulizani kwa barabara ni maeneo kani maeneo kani ndio accident na kutoka ukifika kama nayo unakuwa kwa choni wewe una round about maeneo mtira moko you don't have a deck kama unaenda juu kutoka mwili you don't have a deck sababu gari ingine inatoka speed huko kile driving school tambiwa hivyo na wana ambao wanajua barabara mnapenda pale kanyaga mafuta unajua hey hapa nakanyaga ni kuguze mwendo kidogo hapa naenda ingia kwa lori mtu aseme amen kanyaga ile yako mwambie pata hekima wewe ndio mwingine mwambie pata hekima wewe ndio mwingine wewe pokea hekima za mtu mtu aseme amen many christians because of lack of wisdom are accidents are waiting to happen kanyaga ile yako mwambie ni wewe mmoja wao kama utake hekima unakaa hii maisha ni kama mtu ana drive na baba unjui wakati tukonga lori nyoma you have to be conscious you have to be sensible na you have to inquire mbele ya kukwaje kabla hujaenda utaseme amen utaseme amen utaseme amen ni lazima ninapomalizia James anasema kwamba kuna hekima mara tatu Earthly wisdom, selfish wisdom, and wisdom from the devil. What is the way? I go to find my mother. She is bad and I'm afraid. Demonic wisdom. You don't say anything. We hear it. I go to find my mother. She is bad. I trust the wisdom of my mother. I trust self wisdom. kama unataka upate hekima kutoka kwa Mungu you have to divorce demonic wisdom muda sema amen wakati watu wa dunia hii wakati uko kwa shida ukienda kwa watu wa dunia hii watakwenda kesi kwa njia za watakwambia waende kidogo kuja nipeleke shida kama hiyo kuja nikupeleke watu waje wa dunia hii watu kama hawa kianza nimwambie wewe enda kwako enda kwako kabisa wewe kenyaga kwako sasa wana kupeleka kwa shimo kubwa sana. Mtu aseme hallelujah. Mtu aseme hallelujah. Don't trust selfish wisdom. Sasa mara nyingi watu ambao wanafikiria wana hekima wanakwanga wana live in self deception. Wisdom hata Biblia inasema nabii mmoja atoe unabii mwingine akaweza kuhukumu. Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Some man is to error. Kwa kama wewe si trust tu kwamba wewe unaweza kila kitu who are you Na maandiko yanasema Ephesians 5:18 we submit one to another Kama Mungu amepeana vipawa mbalimbali kwetu sisi wote Mungu anataka tutegemeane Mungu anasema amen Kama wewe uko kwa shida kabla ufikie bisho hakuna mtu unaona kwamba amemeka kwa ndoa au kae na eti Mimi una trust kwambie wewe unakae ngaje kwa kuna amani Yaani kwa kuna mtu kwa ikalizo anaweza kulizia mpaka uende kwa mitambaa. 
na yule kile kwa mbio wewe kupata kwa kitambaa wewe na yule mwingine kwa mbio wewe kupata kwa msumaa wewe ni maombi yote baada na sweat alafu baada ya usiku na jifijo unaenda unitambaa wewe ni kupata hiyo kuna maombi hapo ni nyauno piga Yesu na kwa mazuri